have a question on The Sheik and the Slave, which is your book that, the book that has more reviews than any other book. It has yes. over 90 reviews, almost 100 reviews. Yes, it does. Now, one of the things that I, I keep reading is that it's very sexual. It's a very sexual book. Yes. Now, but then I, I would think that at one point that would, that would, those reviews would stop saying the same thing because yes. people, when they, before they read a book, sometimes they read the reviews and then it says it's sexual. So, yes. well, when you read it, you confirm it and then you <laughs> go out there and put it's very sexual. Yes. What is your thoughts on that? I, 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 I agree, and The Sheik and the Slave was my first novel, and it was, it, it's been almost two and a half years, so it's, it's in, in, you know, in, in the indie world, that's, that is pretty old, because, um, you know, usually once books are published, they kind of fall by the wayside, and their ranking goes down, and, you know, they kind of lose momentum, and they go away, and The Sheik and the Slave has not. It's, it's, it, I think it was ranked over this weekend 6,000, which is, is very good for a historic romance and an indie. And so that is very hard to take because when I first published it, you know, back in uh, February of 2014, absolutely, I, w I was getting, you know, the bad reviews and saying, oh my God, it was, you know, so sexual. And then I still get those, you know, two and a half years later. And as you said, 92 reviews later. So it is hard because... The one thing I don't understand about that is I, I just don't think you would go to a Christian romance novel and say, my God, where's the sex? <laughs> you know, so f for people to just read that and say it would have been a great novel had it not been for the sex, I, I, I think that's very unfair. But reviews are reviews and they're subjective and people can write whatever they want and they do. So as a reader and a writer, I just have to bite my tongue and cry and get some ice cream and, and <laughs> move on. So, <laughs> at 92 or more reviews mm -hmm. or two and a half years later, right since you started yes. this journey, yes. uh, writing, 10 books later, yes. you're saying that you're still affected by negative reviews on Amazon? You know, it's, it's funny because I always say... You know, I'm fine with it. You know, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't like every book I read, so they're not going to like every book they read. I always say that, but I'm human. I, I think, I think, even the big guys, you know, Stephen King, Dean R. Koontz, you know, Lisa Claypas. I think you're human. You have to, you have to be affected by them. Sure, you're not going to go and you know fling yourself off your balcony but you know and I live on the first floor by the way um, but they do they affect you you know you're you're gonna feel a twinge you're gonna feel something and and I think yeah I think it's just human nature and and just like the when I see a good review you know you're like yes you know they got it awesome I, I, I just think it's just so human you know it's just human nature to be a little let down by the bad reviews and very happy with the good reviews even yes, even two and a half years later, absolutely. I think I, I will. I will admit, though, when I got my first bad review for *The Sheik and the Slave*, I think I, I was working at the time, and I um, and I went up to the receptionist, and, and she was like, "Oh my God, what's wrong with you?" And I said, "I got my first bad review," and she was like, "Oh, that's it," you know. And and no, I don't cry. I don't think I cry now. But yeah, they they hurt sometimes. I you know, <laughs> what can I say? You're sensitive. I then. am. I'm, I'm a sensitive little beastie. <laughs> but uh, yet you continue to put yourself out there. With... Yeah, and you know, I, I will I will admit that I've done a couple of um, big advertising. Um, for those of you who don't know, there it's called BookBub, and I've done. This is, I just went through my third, and and you get a lot of you get a lot of feedback from it because it it, it has such a massive reach, you know, to the uh, readers, and. Um, yeah, you you put yourself out there. You do. You put yourself out there, and and you're gonna get what you're gonna get. And so, like I said, you're gonna get the bad reviews. You're gonna get the good reviews, and it's just it's a part of being a, it's a, it's a part of being an author. And I think that's one of the things I really didn't. You know, it's funny. I, I remember, you know, like you look at somebody really big who's in the public eye. Like I'm just thinking Kim Kardashian, who gets you know all sorts of you know bad, good, hate, whatever. And, and I have like a teeny, teeny, weeny portion of that, and I know how it affects me. I can't imagine living in the, in the huge spotlight like some people. So, yeah, you have to put yourself out there. You have to.
and if you, you want to succeed just, right yeah you have to just put yourself out there and and just you know hope that people will like your work but then not everybody's going to not everybody's gonna like descriptions of dresses <laughs> and it's it's unfortunate that people that like the book sometimes don't leave reviews yeah I think that's interesting I've noticed people either need to like especially with the Sheik and the slave people really either need to love it or hate it to, to leave a review and and that kind of you know that visceral feeling is what prompts you to leave a, a review I think people who are just like eh, it was okay you know they don't really tend to leave reviews you know they just move along um, but yeah it's the haters and the lovers that <laughs> tend to leave reviews no but I mean to say that most people uh, are prone to leave negative reviews because they, that's how they feel about it. But some, many people that love it won't go as yeah. far as, as leaving a review. Yeah, they'll, they'll maybe pass it on or they'll tell somebody, which is great too because word of mouth can cut both ways. I mean, if you hate it, you're going to tell everybody. If you love it, you're, you're going to tell everybody. But yeah, that's true. Um, the the, the, um, the really bad reviews, yeah, they, they <laughs> tend to be the ones that, that crop up. And hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Sounds good.